compared to dirty words. I mean, I teach sex ed. Sometimes I say penis or vagina. <laughs> but no word is so dirty as feminism. I say anything about it and suddenly I'm a feminazi and being compared to Hitler. Isaac Green teaches sex ed, wants equality. Hitler, dictator, killed six million some people. Oh, okay, makes sense. No, it doesn't. Being a feminist is very simple. It just means I believe in gender equality. And that's it. That is literally 100% it. Surely it's not so simple, Lacey. I mean, everyone's hating on feminism. Like, it's actually kind of scary. They have torches and stuff. Please hold me. Throughout the past few decades, the media has led a very successful attack on feminism. Uh, it's it's not a good word. It's, it's a bad word. She is a direct counterpoint to the liberal feminist agenda for America. I could not be more pleased. And basically what feminism has delivered is angry women and feminine men. There is a reason why feminists tend to be uglier and fatter. I'm just saying, when you look at your average women's studies professor, it's kind of like, Bleh. The interesting ending men, that's really what they want. Could it be said that years of properly defining feminism has proven fruitful? It's mostly the right wing and they've done everything in their power to undermine the movement for gender equality. First, they deny that gender inequality still exists. Then they paint feminists as walking stereotypes. They cherry pick the extremists and they're like, this is feminism, look how radical it is. Okay, true, in some ways feminism is pretty radical, but only in the sense that it's radical to stand up for equality. Intentional distortion of feminism is nothing new, in fact it's been around since feminists first organized. Sadly, those messages have managed to penetrate the cultural psyche and now people are scared to call themselves feminists. There are three pervasive myths about feminism that I would like to punch in the genitals. Actually, that's like a little bit too violent for me. But I would like to delicately thrust into the public eye. Breast. Myth number one, feminists are man-haters man-hating it up in their anti-man caves. I'd be lying if I said that beneath my bubbly exterior there isn't a bubbly pit of anger. I'm angry about inequality. But that's hating sexism, not men as a whole. I mean, babe, come here. Am I a man hater? Okay, don't answer that. I think guys get defensive because we benefit from sexism. We're used to having women validate our opinions, so when it's a woman that challenges our view of the world, it's easy to take it personal. Myth number two, I'm a humanist, not a feminist. Humanism is the belief that humans should focus on alleviating each other's suffering instead of relying on gods or religions or supernatural powers to do that for us. That's not the same thing as feminism. Saying I'm a blankety blank blank, not a feminist, basically erases the issue of gender. It sweeps it into this huge landscape of human issues which are all equally important but markedly different. It also erases the entire historical movement that is feminism. People also get mad that the movement would have the audacity to reference women in the title. Part of this anger is ew girl stuff. Another part of it is feeling like feminism is only for women. Feminists focus mostly on women because it's mostly women who are hurt by sexism. Men are hurt by sexism too in sneaky ways which is why feminism is a movement for everybody. And number three, I'm not a feminist but insert feminist opinion here. Whenever my friends do this, I just want to be like, you are feminisming right now. Feminism, fully loaded. I'd love to see a world where there are no more, I'm not a feminist, but instead I would just like a world full of actual butts. Can we do that? Let's go, people. J.K. Rowling once wrote that fear of the name only increases fear of the thing itself. By actually calling ourselves feminists, we align ourselves with the great legacy of equality, this epic movement of women and men who made it possible for us to be where we're at today. By calling ourselves feminists, we stand up to the misogyny and ignorance that has undermined that history. We remind others that feminists are simply people who believe in equality of the sexes, who want to see a more just world, and there's nothing dirty about that. Except your mom, oh. What?